welcome back to the Citizen Channel. We're all staying safe and well. Another, I didn't know that. And uh, yeah, a little bit out of order. I've done a Newcastle one away, but of course, before uh, Newcastle, we played uh, this team, didn't we, Everton? But uh, we had a, 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 one went missing. I, had, I didn't go to the game, so I had to order it and uh, obviously I had to reorder it. So yeah, forgive me, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for this little uh, look, look at it. doesn't matter what order we do them in particular. It's just to have a look inside uh, the programme. Any facts and oddities? Within, of course, what is the hard copy memory of the game, of course. Uh, just to remind you, this game took place on the 27th of December 2023. So last year now, as I'm recording this, it's already in the past. Of course, it's match day 18. So we're going to have a look at, look at uh, anything interesting in this. Yeah, it's not too bad. Quite, quite an, it's an OK programme. Nothing special. It's OK. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Everything City, past, present, and uh, even do the future as well. I'm psychic. I even look into the future, of course. So uh, great to have you on board. Let me know your thoughts. Do you get the programmes? Uh, what did you think of the Everton game or anything to do with City? Just uh, just leave us your comments, guys, and I will respond. Or if they just need me to give you a little thumbs up, as I hope you give this uh, vlog a thumbs up, uh, guys. Hit that button. be much appreciated. Right, let's have a look at this uh, programme. Yeah, the covers are all right. They're probably pff, out of the ten every every week that they're competing against. Out of the ten, they're usually about third, fourth, or fifth. Uh, they're okay. It's it's not a bad cover. Uh, plenty of Man City written on it, which is is a nice touch. But uh, it's four pound for eighty four pages. But uh, just clear and simple. Uh, nothing nothing spectacular in the program cover, but uh, not bad to look at. Uh, sponsors, yeah, let's have a quick look at the sponsors. State.com, of course, are the main shirt sponsor for Everton. I think they currently pay £10 million a season for the privilege of doing that. Of course, State.com, as you probably imagine from the name, are one of the world's largest and, uh, they say, most popular online casinos. I've never been on it, so I don't know. And sports betting platforms. Yes, my uh, my betting days are, are well in the past. Um, uh, successful, I must say, as well at the time. Sleeve sponsors are Kick. Kick is a community-driven live streaming platform. So I might have to have a look at that one day, see what it's up to. But uh, community-driven... I don't know what that really means. Does it mean it's cheap? Uh, I have no idea. Anyway, did you know about Everton? Uh, they've got an Anana. Yes, uh, we've got an Anana entertainers not far away, just down the road uh, by his antics and the goals he lets in. But uh, Everton have their own 22-year-old Belgian born in Dakar in Senegal. Midfielder Amadou Anana, and he joined him from French club Lille in August 2022. He's a clever lad. He speaks uh, five languages and he's doing okay. I think he's sort of a bit of a DM, actually, a bit of a DM, but he, he likes to score goals, so uh, I think we've got one of them, haven't we? The Blues legend in this issue is a certain guy I remember very well, and I'm sure most City fans of a certain age will, uh, Graham Sharp. He was top scorer for Everton in 1984-85 season with 30 goals in all competitions. And the following season, he and a certain uh, Gary Lineker, have you heard of him? I wonder what happened to him. Gary Lineker scored 64 goals between them in the season after. And in history, Everton's history, only Dixie Dean, uh, look him up guys if you don't know who Dixie Dean is, only Dixie Dean scored more for Everton than Graham Sharp, uh, who got 160 from 447 appearances. And he won two league titles while I was at Everton, so he did pretty well, 84-85 and 86-87. What didn't I know about City? Well, not a lot, but what about Everton and City? That's more like it, yeah, there's nothing, they didn't tell me anything about City that I didn't already know, but about Everton and City? some all-time stats we've played Everton 195 times uh, we've won 79 lost 68 and drawn 48 so I'll take that that's uh, impressive of course the last uh, uh, say 15 years or so we've uh, closed the gap on that and improved vastly Lescott, well, uh, Mr. Lescott, Julian Lescott, you have to see him in it. He looks at both camps, of course. He had 143 appearances for Everton with 17 goals. And for City, he had 160 appearances with just a nine goals, so just about half that. And he also picked his ultimate six of the best. Uh, three from each team, so three Everton players and three City players. So he's a sort of ultimate six-a-side team. So for Everton, he picked Leighton Baines, Tim Howard and Phil Jagielka. And from City, you pick Yaya Torre, Sergio Aguero and David Silva. So we're going to have a look at 
back before we go that's our excerpt today we're going to have a look back on what he had to say about our three city heroes Ken Barnes is the only City player, again, look him up, guys, if you're not sure, to score a hat-trick against Everton. Yeah, no other City player has managed that. And this was on the 7th of December, 1957. I doubt any City players will manage this either. He scored all three of those with uh, from the penalty spot. So, well done, Ken. Two men played for City and managed... Sorry, two, played, two, two men played for City and then managed Everton. Uh, Joe Royal, an obvious one. And, yes, I saw it. You tend to forget because he wasn't... In, our legend wasn't with us for long was he of course uh, Mr Lampard as well and seven actually played for Everton but managed City so as many as seven you had Hughes, Reed, Ball, Kendall, Saunders, Mercer and uh, going back a little bit further Jock Thompson Quiz question, I'll give you uh, an answer at the end after the excerpt. Spirit of the Blues quiz is what they call it, and it looks at a 2-0 Everton win over us in March 2013. So have a think who City players were in March 2013. And question five was this. was was Which future Everton player was in the City team uh, in that game? So we're going back to 2013. So they beat us 2-0. So which, which future Everton player? So he was on the City side that day. Uh, are we talking about so we'll give you the answer before we go and we'll go back to the excerpt of the day to see what uh, Mr Yolian Lesker has to say about our well three of our heroes of course yeah yeah Tora here we go the best player I've ever played with said Jolian if he played well we won it was that simple because he could dictate the outcome of the game whenever he stepped up the game was decided by him and whatever the game needed he was able to do when he joined we assumed he was just going to be a defensive midfielder and he was that for a bit but then he started playing in a more advanced role he was built like a super athlete but with the touch of a number 10 Yep, can't disagree with Jolene on that one. How about Sergio Aguero? What did old Jolene have to say about him? He said, the best finisher I've ever played with. Okay, well, I've never played with him, but the best finishers I've probably seen. Especially in a six aside when you just need goals. He's that kind of guy that would just always find the back of the net. It was never a comfortable game for defenders when they played against him. I've spoken a lot of world-class defenders who have said he was their toughest opponent. Can't blame him, can we? And what did he have to say, Jolie and Lesker have to say about David Silva? When he said, well, yeah, yeah, I was the best player I played with. I'd say David was the best footballer. What he could do and how consistent he was and how he trained, everything he did was top level. I don't think, I don't think he ever had a bad spell. I don't think anyone questioned his form when he was at City. There's a unique thing. He was consistently great. Yes, Again, totally agree. Yeah, probably nearest one at the moment to that would probably have been uh, Bernardo, Bernardo Silva, I think, as well. And just a quick, I was interested in why, why he thought Tim Howard uh, in this. Uh, obviously, he played with some reasonable keepers at City and, and Everton. He said, Tim's a great guy and a good friend. He was a great shot stopper, very athletic and ridic ridiculously agile. I think those attributes would work well in a six-a-side game. I always felt comfortable playing in front of him at Everton because he was so good on his day. So there you go. Before we go, we'll talk uh, the quiz. Yeah, the quiz answer. So we're going to have a look at the Spirit of the Blues quiz. It looks at the Everton 2-0 win back in 2013. I'll wipe that one from my memory. And of course, question five was, uh, was which future Everton player was in the City team in that March 2013? So cast your mind back and, well, I, I wouldn't have particularly known the year, but I was trying to think of players who went over to Everton. There's not many, is there? So, uh, yeah, of course, the answer, I'm sure you got it, was Gareth Barry. Right, oh, you enjoyed this. I didn't know that. Everton versus City from the 27th of December 2023. Let me know any thoughts you've got, any comments you've got, guys. It'd be great to hear from you. And we'll be back with another I didn't know that. There's a couple of specials out there as well, uh, considering a couple of books I've recently bought. So a sort of book club stroke I didn't know that special. Uh, so keep your eyes out for those guys. Press that button, check on the channel, see what's there. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now. Thank you.